a, uh, I have a kind of a strange question. I'm in an area where there are a lot of seemingly materialistic chicks, and I'm always going out on dates, always going out with these girls, and after you get past the surface of getting to know a girl, there's nothing because they care more about what you can buy for them instead of what you can do and how you can treat them. Mm -hmm. Is what? there like a pre-screening thing that you could suggest so I don't have to waste my time with these materialistic bitches? No, no. It, it, this is, again, introduce options. you got to understand Good that es essentially that most loser women, all they have to barter is their pussy. They don't have anything else. Men have so many other things to bother when it comes to the sex game and the relationship game. Like when, you gotta understand when, again, it's not their fault. Never look at it as like their fault. Cause they all do it. So it has to be some type of nature involved. When, when you walk up the street, man, if you, if you're an ugly motherfucker, hunchback, and you walking with some type of like fucking swagger. <laughs> swagger. Yeah. A woman can look at you and everybody could be laughing and going, look at this hunchback motherfucker. But Ooh, like that somebody hump, might something go, about yeah, that hump is, is sexy. I got a hunchback. Look at him. Hold on, hold on. How can this motherfucker with a hunchback look like he should be fucking me? We have <laughs> other, there's other things that make us attractive to women. Initially, there's only one thing that makes them attractive to us, and that's fucking them. And then it builds from there. But they right. like us more than fucking us on the front end, and then they like us like for fucking us in the back end. We like them to fuck them in the front end, and then we go, wow, she's kind of cool on the back end. So basically, you got to understand that when you're meeting these women, essentially, they're losers, do you feel what I'm saying? That yeah, that she has to get something out of her pussy, dude. She has to get dinner. She has to get a movie. Mm. How can she function if she doesn't get something out of what she has? So it's a barter system, but you got to think of it like this. That you, our bodies aren't as important to us as their bodies are. So when you're taking her out to dinner and, and spending time with her and taking her to the movies, you got to understand that that's her way of fucking you. And if you take her out... Five times? She fucked you five times. And you haven't fucked her yet. So basically what you're doing is driving down a one-way street behind this bitch. A narrow one-way street behind her. And you can't pass her. So if you find yourself getting stuck behind a chick on, in a one-way, you turn off the first available exit and you get the fuck off that road so you can either get in front or you try to get a, a, a in a situation where you're ahead because you can never get ahead like by making a, a stand on the back end. Let me explain. It's like, it's a thing called the punk test. When I was younger, um, this dude fucking robbed me. Robbed me for my first piece of jewelry I ever had. And before he actually stuck that gun in my face, he knew he was going to rob me. He knew he could rob me because he did a series of things that made him know this motherfucker's a pussy. He bumped into me and I'm like, hey, why'd you, why did you step on my feet? Why'd you do that? <laughs> he, he fucking, he, he, he walked up behind me. He fucking, he was like saying shit under his breath like this motherfucker sucks, this, that, and the other. And then once he made the move to rob me, he really didn't need a gun because he already knew he had had me. Mm. So when a woman gets you like that, dude, you can't get from under that rock by now, like showing your manhood. It's card gradual. When, it's a gradual. When she sees that she took your manhood, that she that she's this guy's in love with me. This guy. I know a girl that mm. said, I don't let nobody pull my hair until I tell him to. Bitch, shut the fuck up. You got to say to yourself that I am the director. <laughs> Of my movie. Bitch, you in my movie. Mm -hmm. So if you take a chick out to dinner, yes, that's the fair thing to do. But don't take you, her you out twice anyway. until... As soon as you get that, <laughs> that fucking gut feeling that the world tries to take away from a man, yeah. that we want to fuck. You know that thing that, yeah. oh, it's not right to want to fuck. Mm. We want to fuck, bitch. As soon as you breathe, as soon as we see you, we want to fuck. <laughs> that's, it is what it is. So when you, when you take her out to dinner... I'm telling you, you introduce fucking right after dinner. <laughs> you f you fucking go, hey man, hey so you say something dirty like you really got some nice fucking titties, and and give her the option to leave or stay, but you always put another option. She's not. Don't let them fuck you, cause dinner movie time is fucking you. And are you a whore? You can't let a woman whore out your time. You understand what I'm saying? Right, so let her know that if I'm, if I'm giving for her, she's got to give for me right back. No, it, it, it's not like, 
You gotta, it's not you gotta, for tat. Right, it's you, not, it's a, it's, she's gonna try and gradually take your manhood by small steps, and then before you know it, you're sitting in the shoe store carrying her bags. You gotta, oh you gotta first, up front decide what you want out of this and if and if what you want is sex then that has to be that has to be obvious that that's right. what you want and if that's not what she wants fine there will be somebody else especially if you're in a situation where there are, there are material material with women around you i would assume that you're you you pretty you're doing pretty well financially yourself is that correct I'm I'm doing okay. I can right. Doing so that's why you're in. That's why you're around these women, and they're attracted to you in the first place. So if you're, if if that's what, if you're looking for sex, you have to put that out up front because she will do small little steps to take your manhood in the interim. Right. The point. I want to ask you this: where Where are you meeting these women? It, everywhere. Like well, it's everywhere because the area that I'm in and and what I do for a living. What do you my do? Well, I work for a non-profit agency. Oh, okay. And, 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 and Are you fucking Katrina I... victims? <laughs> <laughs> Give somebody a trailer. <laughs> but with what I do, it's, it's where I'm at, at the gym, out in public. Uh, it's, it's everywhere. It's not, not like I'm looking at one specific place. And you're in Chicago, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, it, <laughs> Kevin, you funny. <laughs> Kathleen, what the? Yeah, well, the thing thing is, is, there, 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 there are people where, where his gym is. I I don't know or whatever, but yeah. there are women uh, that specifically go out to meet a guy that makes X amount of dollars. And oh, so you're trying to say how? She's asking, yeah, I, she's I was asking saying, are you like some. Some uh, metrosexual motherfucking, you know, a guy better looking than bitches. And yeah, whatever, maybe whatever. go to a different gym or meet women elsewhere. You're still going to get the same. Yeah, I mean, Fundamentally, it's the nature of them to bitch you up. That always right. happens. The degree may be different from the gym to, 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 to gold digging chicks, but they all it's all about bitching you up. And it's not... And it's organic. Exact. That's the thing you have to keep in your head, man. You cannot be angry at how they do it with such ease, man. They're, your your manhood... <laughs> it's like brushing your teeth. Is, exactly. It's constantly under siege, and you can't be mad at them. It's like being mad at a fucking snake for biting you. If you got a rattlesnake in your hand, you're like, this rattlesnake is the shit, and it bites you, you can't be mad at the motherfucker. You just have to right. go, shit, it's a snake. She, women wow. have to do certain things. They have look at loser women. That analogy it, it, just... it is it, it is what it is, pumpkin. <laughs> it, it, any any woman, her initial thing if she doesn't have any guidance to think differently is that she has to get something out of her pussy because right. because they haven't developed. This is this is why going back to that other caller, why they force you to marry them because mm -hmm. it's like it's like um Dracula trying to trying to eat dinner with you. Real fast before 5 a.m. comes. You understand? Okay. That's a bitch. That's a bitch. Uh, uh, it's, she want to get married to. She want to get married uh, before <laughs> she turns. Before uh, she starts to melt. No, no. The sun. Uh, I'm just. I had enough. Uh, uh, it's coming up. You gotta understand that. That's what I want to get married. It's it's get. I gotta get this motherfucker so that I have an excuse not to have to be bigger than my vagina. If you make her stretch out that 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 courtship, she's gonna have to force herself to be bigger than her vagina. And some women don't know how to do that. Some women don't know how to be. Look, tell a bitch. Here's what you tell her. Look, look, baby. Uh, <laughs> look, I don't just want pussy. You know, um, I don't want pussy. Just want it unless. That's all. I don't all. It says I, if, if, if I don't. I, that's not all I want unless that's all you got. Do you understand? You got to make yeah. her understand, right? Women have to understand that pussy is like it's the wheels on the car. You understand? Uh, like if you yeah. have a be a Beamer and you have a Benz and you go out and you look at both of them, nineteen for uh, uh, two thousand seven Benz, two thousand seven Beamer. You look at them both, and 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 if the salesman comes up and goes, "Hey, how are you? Oh, uh, listen, I have a wonderful car here," and you go, "Well, what's the what's some of the features of the car? Why should I buy it? Because it has wheels." What? Nigga, <laughs> that's what a pussy is. You got to let a bitch know that, look, I'm going to tell you something. I want to fuck you. You Stop stop trying to hide that we want to fuck. That's the problem we're having, fellas. 
We want to fuck anyway. It's like drinking water when you're thirsty. Pussy, it's not as important as everyone makes it. You, you understand what I'm saying? And you, you, yeah. she clearly is not doing you a favor by fucking you. That is not a gift. You ever, <laughs> you ever have women go, I, 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 I let you eat my pussy. <laughs> what? You let me eat your pussy? What? I just performed that fucking surgery yeah, I right? just performed. Exactly. Is, is my neck, a my neck is me? clamped up, my tongue is numb, and you did me a favor. I fucking put my face in that disaster area <laughs> for a half hour and pretended that your asshole didn't stink, and all of a sudden you're a good gal for letting me. Well, thank you. Huckleberry. Hey, thanks for calling, man. Thanks, Brian.